Okay, hello everyone. Before today, we're going to be working on factoring integers and polynomials. So we have to discuss first the three words, the factor, integers, and polynomials. So let's start with factor. What is a factor? It is simply a number that is multiplied to get the product. So numbers that are multiplied are the factors. For example, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So 4 is a factor of 20 and 5 is also a factor of 20. 20 here is the product of 4 and 5. So the factors are 4 and 5. Next, what is an integer? So integer, when we say integer, you have to think of a number line. So a number line has the origin, the negative numbers, and the positive numbers. Origin as a zero at the center of the number line, then at the left of the number line are the negative numbers, and at the right are the positive numbers. Next is a polynomial. Polynomials. Polynomial is an expression consisting of variables and coefficients that involves only the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and non-negative exponents of variables. For example, an expression 5x squared plus 3xy minus 7. So 5 here and 3 are the coefficients, x and xy are the variables, and 2 is the exponent, which is non-negative. If the exponent will become negative, meaning it is not a polynomial. Okay, factoring the greatest common monomial factor. So you have to recall our lesson on grade seven algebra, the multiplication of monomial by multinomial. So if you remember, 2x, for example, 3x squared plus 5xy minus 4. So in distributive property, you will get this answer by distributing the first or the monomial to the multinomial. So 2x times 3x squared, you will get 6x cubed. 2x times 5xy gets 10x squared y. And 2x times negative 4 is 8x. So in multiplication, remember, add the exponent. So when you multiply, you have to add the exponent. Multiply the coefficient, copy the variable, then add the exponent. Okay, that was your grade 7 algebra. So now, factoring the greatest, greatest common monomial factor, for example, we have 15x plus 18xy minus 6. So you have to look for the greatest common factor of 15, 18, and 6. So what are those? What is the greatest common factor of 15, 18, and 6? 15, you can, will get the factors 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. In 18, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. In 6, you have 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So the greatest common factor is 3. By distributive property, you can be 3 can be taken out. Thus, the factor form is, so you have to take out 3. Then from the given 15x plus 18xy minus 6, you have to divide the greatest common factor. 15 divided by 3, you'll get 5. Then copy the variable, 18 divided by 3 is 6, copy the variable xy, and 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, since 6 is negative. So before, this was given as monomial multiplied by multinomial. Now, this will be the given and this will be your answer. So reverse to what we have studied last school year. Another example, 
10x to the fourth plus 15x to the third minus 25x squared plus 5x. So the GCF for, for the coefficients 10, 15, 25, and 5, yes, you will get the factor for that. You have the GCF 5, 5 for the 10. The common factor for 10, 15, 25, and 5 is 5. So take it out. In var if the variables, if the variables have exponents, then use the laws of exponent. So what is the law? Remember, the variable with the smallest exponent is the common factor. So you have to look for the lowest exponent or the smallest exponent of the variable. What is the exponent? The number after the variable na nasa upper right. So the smallest exponent is x. So you have to take out x together with the greatest common factor of the coefficient 5. So you have 5x, then you divide 10x to the fourth by 5x. Remember that in division, in multiplication, you have to add the exponent. In reverse, in division, you have to subtract the exponent. So 10 divided by 5, 2, x to the fourth, x1, you will get x cubed. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. x cubed times divided by x is x squared. Negative 25x squared divided by 5x, you will get 5x. Then positive 5x divided by 5x is 1. OK, next, 12x cubed y plus 8xy squared. So the greatest common factor for 12 and 8 is 4. And the greatest common factor of the variable x is x squared. So this is smaller than the x cubed. The greatest common factor for y is y1 or y. So you have to take out all the greatest common factor from the coefficients to the variable. Thus the factored form is for x squared, y, so you have to divide the given terms to the greatest common factor, and the answer will be 3x plus 2y squared. Okay, try. Okay, number one. 8x plus 12xy minus 7. So what is the greatest common factor for the coefficients 8, 12, and 6? So you will get 2. Then the multinomials are 4x plus 6xy minus 3. So you have to divide this one, 2, 2, and the second term divided by 2, and the third term divided by 2. Next, the GCF for 9, 18, and 15 is 3. Then you divide 9 divided by 3 is 3, copy the variable. Negative 18B divided by 3, you have 6B, and positive 15 divided by 3, you will get 5. Next, GCF for 4, 8, and 6 is 2. Then you divide the first term by the monomial, second term by the monomial, and the third term by the monomial, and you will get this answer. Next, 7, 14, and 21, the greatest common factor is 7. So you divide each of these terms to 7n, and you will get this answer. Next. 18 and 15, the GCF is 3. X squared is the lower term, and Y is the lower term. So you will get this answer. The last one, 6, 9, and 3, the greatest common factor is 3. And 
for the variable A, the lowest term is A, and for the variable B, the lowest term is B. Then you divide the first term by the monomial 3AB, you will get 2AB to the fourth, because B5 minus B, or divided by B, subtract the exponent, you will get B4. 9 divided by 3, you will get 3, then cancel out A, because A divided by A is 1, so you, need, you don't need to write 1. B squared divided by B is B. And when you divide 3A cubed B divided by 3AB, you will get a negative 3.5.